It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got a pair of teams who not long ago had more Super Bowls than anybody else. It's the boys and the 49ers under the lights on Sunday night. Well, they don't call them the faithful for nothing, Brock. Fans numbering 70,000 strong have made the trek to Santa Clara. And they're ready to cheer on their 49ers here at Levi Stadium. Hello, all. Kate Scott up here in the booth. And joining me, as always, my partner, Brock Kuehler. All right, Brock. Everyone hoping we see a competitive contest here. And both teams feel they can provide that. Yeah, this should be a good one. I, I mean, just stack these two teams up. We've all done our homework. They've done a lot more <laughs> practice time and film watching and everything else. But by all accounts, the numbers will tell you, the talent will tell you, we're going to have a competitive chess match, and I can't wait to watch it. Jake Mooney now ready to get this one started. And we're off from Levi Stadium. Here's Cavante Turpin on the return. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. So well, here come the Cowboys for their opening drive. Bringing them out is a Mississippi State fourth round pick in 2016, who's found considerable success in this league, Dak Prescott. We're not for some guy named Lamar Jackson up there in Baltimore. I think Dak Prescott would have won MVP last year. Had his best season statistical total control of that Cowboy offense. Over 4,500 yards. And remember, he led in touchdown passes with 36. And we know what it's all about in Dallas. It's not what you do in the beginning. It's how it finishes. And can you take those steps in the playoffs? Looking right, and he finds it. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. First down, here's Dak. That's completed right side. And they're going to hold him down just shy of the 40. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Throwing on first is Prescott. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play it is gone. Cut to this defense who snapped and clear. That's part of this game. Got snapped and clear. Give up a big play. Come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home. That's it. Steps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And that's going to pin them as deep as it can go. They're going to be set up inside their own five-yard line. So here come the 49ers for their opening drive. Leading them out, a player known, yes, for that draft status, but also as a great methodical passer. I know you love this guy, Brock. The last pick of the 2022 draft, it's Brock Purdy. As you're running onto the field with this kind of field position as a quarterback, you reminded yourself 
and your huddle. Hey, let's be disciplined. Got to be on the details here. Got to take care of the football. And also encourage them and let them know that script you've been working on all week. Well, there's a lot of field and there's a lot of plays ahead of them to go and put a score on the board. Here's a handoff off the gut. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. As an offense in these situations, Kate, you could feel your own goal line, and you're not going to risk putting the ball in the air. So that means you're going to run it, and you're going to buy whatever breathing room you can. Second down now, seven to go. Another carry for him. He's contained at the line for no gain. Eric Kendrick's there for the tackle. Stuck to the ground, but nothing gained that time, and it brings up third and seven. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Looking at a tough spot to punt it away if this third down is unsuccessful. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. One yard on the play, and now they've got fourth down and six. This close to your own goal line, they really don't want to risk a sack. That means, well, one option, run it and buy whatever breathing room you can. It's a punt coming from the Niners on fourth down, and Mitch Wisnowski out to boot it away. He gets it out of there, and this has some distance. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. That punt goes 63 yards. And the Cowboys will get set to go on offense. for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they're gonna tackle behind the line, but a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Second and 10 now. Finds him over the middle. And he's able to get it past midfield and down onto the 49 er side. It's not just imperative that a quarterback goes man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give the quarterback a chance. And the 49ers in a nickel set. Third down coming. Dak now from the gun. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. That's a pickup of nine. And it'll be first down, Dallas. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. And this laid it down to approach here from the 40. Now we're on the counter. He gets it forward for a gain of three. Tackle made by Jair Brown. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. A modest gain on the counter. A good recovery there from the front seven, Kate. They fought the fake initially, but adjusted just in time to limit the damage headed the other direction. Dak off the play fake. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open and beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Back to throw. Here's Dak. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. No luck finding his receiver that time. Fourth down coming up. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over in the coverage, really forcing the incompletion. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and 
he did. And they're on the board. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Samuel with the return. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. San Francisco headed out for its second possession of the game. And they haven't gotten their legs under him on offense just yet, Brock. Three plays and a punt on their opening drive. First and ten now from the 30. Shotgun snap for Purdy. To the left side and reeled in by Kittle. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard game. Kalen Carson with the tackle. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. One of the tight ends motioning right. Purdy setting up that play action. He puts a mare under this one deep right. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? You got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And then more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. No connection on the last play. And out third down. Looking to throw, Purdy. Miss in there to haul it in. And he's sure the first after a mild game. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys about set to take over, and they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. start out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. You know, kid, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. You've got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. Here we go, second and nine. Got Lamb, and it's complete. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. So critical, Kate, on those receiver screens to get that ball out with great precision. You don't want that receiver thinking about anything but navigating the blocks in front of him. That's well done by everybody. First and ten, Prescott. Falls to the ground, now left, incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. So it's second down coming up. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Well, home back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. They give it to him again. 
breaks the tackle, still going. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football work on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh -uh. It's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. Here's Prescott, first and ten. This is a hand for about five. Charvarius Ward brings him down. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short game. I get a win, too. Sometimes, you can't get to win-win. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 38. And someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Tarverius Ward picks it up. And the 49ers get it back as he intercepts him for the second time this game. And what a huge bonus on top of the takeaway. Not only did you steal the possession, but you immediately, Kate, flip this field and give your teammates a golden opportunity to punch it in for six. And if they score quickly, they're going to put that opposing offense right back out there, steal really from that interception. So here come the 49ers on offense. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Bronk. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. Got it off that interception, Brock. Let's see if they can pay that off with points. Here's first and goal. Mason. Jake Moody on for the PAT. Right down the middle, it's good. And the 49ers take a four-point lead. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Turpin with a return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Another drive coming up for this Dallas offensive unit. And we'll see if they go right back to the passing game here. Coming off the interception they threw in enemy territory. Get this drive started. First and ten. Hand off to the back. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Now don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to push that envelope and get aggressive. Now head up. First and ten from the 42. Play action, Prescott. He rolls to his right. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense is energized following that stick for a loss. And right there is the danger kick. When you put the ball in there, how many times do we see these coordinators when get a nice run? They gain some steam on the ground. They stick with the ground game. They don't. They call a pass. And the defense reacts and reacts well with the sack. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. From the gun is Prescott. And he covered just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up.
Looking out of the gun, it's Prescott. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted, it's going to be fourth down. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, where they come down to a play or two in third down, whether it's in a close game or already out of hands, the coach wants to see them convert those. Hunter on now, and he gets into this one. That one hits at the six, but can't check up. He gets into the end zone for a touchback. Now the 49ers getting set to go on offense. And they were not blessed with the short field they got on their prior drive. This one is a world away as they begin deep on their own side. They're out and set, first and ten. Now a give running right. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. When you call that first down running play, you don't always expect to get those kind of yards, but they'll take that every single time. They've got first down from the 31. So before they get the snap away, we reach the end of the first quarter. 7-3 is our score. Back to Levi Stadium right after this. We're back, and it's 49ers football as we resume. They've got first and 10 here, looking to add to their lead. On the ground, this is Isaac Arindo. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. From the gun is Purdy. Cut by Jennings. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Tackle there by Jordan Lewis. All right, Cowboys showing nickel set third down. Bell going to motion over right. On third down, Purdy. Complete beyond the marker. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to be. Pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Play action now with Purdy. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. To throw again. It's Purdy. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. Buys time, rolling right. Oh, he's got and that tackle stops him after a solid game. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. Offense going for it here. Fourth and five. Now it's Purdy. 
fourth downs. It just brings out the very best, and you get to see how you handle the most pressure, and it turns out well, they handled it pretty darn well, and now they'll keep pushing. Purdy on first down. Short pass brought in. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Second down now, seven to go. They'll send their tight end right. Here's second and seven. Finds him on the crossing route. And they get this all the way down to the 16 yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. There is no thought needed from him. He has been doing this so long, dating back to college and high school, those instincts, and they come at you with a capital I. Identify that run fire downhill and get home in the backfield before that play could get started. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And again, they'll get there to meet him at the line and take him down. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force and the defense wins out. This drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. They'll motion him out of the backfield. Third and long for him here. The screen pass falls incomplete. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know you've got to execute and convert on these third downs. Fourth down now, and on comes Jake Moody for the 49ers field goal. This is a 35-yard look from the right hand. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And add three to their lead as it extends to seven. That's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is if the kicking team is out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Cowboys and running back Rico Dattle back out now. And they take over down 10-3 following that score. Defense. The handoff on third and short. 
And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there. And he's going to get the job done. And he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. First down, here's Dak. This pick here knocked away incomplete. Any DB prefers a highlight real interception which is forced him to make a complete pass. But as soon as he realized the pick wasn't possible on the play, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing again is dead. That's incomplete. Trying to set up the screen there. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Prescott to throw. Jump off caught by his back. And they take him down at the 43 yard line. It's plays like that that went wrong. Well, I sit and judge defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field. And not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. Punt team on, and they'll send this one away. Now out comes the San Francisco offense. And they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out. Another chance to build on that advantage here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Running back sends in motion. First down throw by Purdy. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. So that brings up second down. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you got to go finish it. You got to go make that catch, I will say. Keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. No connection on the last play. And out third down. They kick the running back in motion. He'll get this to Samuel. It's a game of 12 there. And that's a 49er first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Pretty throwing here on first. Complete out to the right. And he'll get up near the 38-yard line before going down. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on, and then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat, throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. Hand off on second and short. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Now after the run, we see he's visibly shaken up. Team medical staffers headed over to take a look. Third and just two to go. Running back sent in motion. That's 
him on the quick hitter. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. They bring the tight end in motion. Purdy setting up that play action. That's complete to kill on the sideline. A strike for 23 yards. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often the screen. And they wouldn't get it to a tight end and play action. Just a little icing on the cake. First and ten now from the 30. Shotgun snap for Purdy. He's on the move. Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. That quarterback clock, it is so important to play in the position and playing it efficiently. You got to know, you got to have that clock in your head because that's enough time in this league to get rid of the ball. That's a lesson this QB's got to learn. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Another try following the sack. Flush down out to his left. He evades any kind of trouble, but only a short game to show for it after sliding down. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs, but so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. Here he is on third and long. Getting out to his left. He's running for it. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Fourth down now, and on comes Jake Moody for the 49ers field goal. He cashed his first attempt, his second now from 45. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Turpin with a return. He stopped on the return at the 27. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends, but you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give him a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Dak now from the gun. It's caught, Ferguson. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. It's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Cowboys have to get moving here. Clock's still running. Second and three. And he doesn't see a winner we like, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down.
hey, listen, drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. The Cowboys sending out their punting unit. He's been hitting it well so far. This is another big one. He calls for the fair catch and has it at the 22-yard line. So no return on that punt. And the 49ers will go on offense. The San Francisco offense headed out to take over. They're getting close to a minute to play, Brock, and they're going to need that time with a long field ahead. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They go play action here. Escapes the pocket. He's on the move. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm. Especially in a situation like that, it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep them moving forward. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the gun is Purdy. Kittle brings it in. And he'll push this upfield and earn that one. You set it down. set of downs for him from the 46. They kick the running back in motion. Throwing now from the gun. He's on the move. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. San Francisco calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. to the marker. It's second and five. Back to throw. Here's Purdy. We'll get this complete to Jennings. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk with a nice 21 yards. And that's a 49er first down. Watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Only time left for one more snap, Brock, so they're gonna run out their field goal unit. From the right hash, about 45 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that pushes the lead up to 13. Give him the first half trifecta. He's three for three on field goals. And as much as they'd like six points to end drives, not three, they can at least be happy they're getting consistent looks inside field goal range. He's delivering. Barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. All right, this is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. halftime report with Jonathan Coachman. Coach, take it away. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports halftime report. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. A 
hungry now to kick this one away. And turning it from the four. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The 49ers offense ready to get to work to begin this third quarter. And they really lean on that passing game in the first half, Brock. Let's see if that emphasis continues to start the third. They're out and set, first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. Escapes the pocket. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. One of the biggest adjustments for quarterbacks going from the collegiate level to the NFL is the blitz package. Each and every practice leading up to a game time, you are spending so much time as a QB, as an offensive group, and as that old line trying to figure out a way to stop these blitzes. At that time, the offense, the old line, the QB, no one had an answer for that defensive pressure. After the sack, another pass on second down. And he's in trouble and gets brought down again. And back-to-back -back takedowns behind the line of scrimmage set him up now with third down. One thing you learn about NFL halftimes, Kate, is they're a lot quicker than the college game. You got to make your adjustments in a hurry, and boy, has this defense. Back-to-back -back sacks, setting up what could be a very quick three and out, and an early boost in the second half. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Purdy looking to throw. Watch down the pocket. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. So a timely moment for a big play, and they get the first on third and 19. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. New set of downs for him at the 38. Purdy on first down. He's going to try to drop it in deep right. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Great defensive effort to reject that one. And it sets up second down. You know, I don't fault that look at all, Kate, downfield. It was just an excellent defensive play to deny him the ball and knock it away. That is good on good. From the gun, they're going to hand it off. Good little look there. Looks like about six. Eric Kendricks there for the tackle. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. Well, I know this. This staff loves the athleticism and versatility he brings to the offense. That's not only as a receiver, but as someone who can take occasional carries and turn them into good yards. Third and short. Here's Purdy. He's on the move. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. Now it's Purdy. Into the hands of Kittle. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there, and there's nothing this defense can do. In a good spot here, second and inches. Right up the gut. And that short game is enough for a new set of down. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. 
And they've got themselves another first and ten. The tight end going in motion right. Play action now with Purdy. That is a touchdown to one of their prime receiving targets. This is really what you pay your skill guys for. You know, I had an old coordinator say, it's my job to get you a one-on-one. -on -one. It's your job to go out and win it, and win it with a touchdown. Now the 49ers deciding to keep the offense on the field. They're going for two. Keeping it on the ground. And he's into the end zone. That play adds a couple more to their lead. Defense perhaps a little too worried about the pass there, partner. And as a result, they're able to run it in for two. It really becomes a numbers game down here. And you see a lot of teams employ this, right? If there's numbers there against the pass, we're going to be committed to running. If they stack the box, we've got to be willing to throw it. In this case, it was a numbers advantage and the simplest path for two points. to kick it away. Here's Moody. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The Cowboys offense now headed back to the field. They're down 21 now after that last score and in need of a comeback as we work through this game. ready to begin this drive first and ten first down here's Dak got to him right as he threw it and it falls to the ground looking for his wide receiver there and now it's second down you need to buy your receivers enough time to get open along your route and your quarterback enough time to find and hit them with the throw when the line doesn't hold up the completions follow Again on second and ten, Prescott. Short pass brought in. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Well, nothing very fancy about that. That's just a textbook curl route. I think they were running curl routes last century, and it's a play that works a high percentage of the time then, just like it did now. All plays on the table here for third and three. Dak out of the pistol. The grab and bounds left side. And he takes this out after crossing the 45. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And it'll be first down, Dallas. New set of downs for him from the 46. Running back sets in motion. Here's Prescott, first and 10. We've got a screen to the running back. He was descending the park quickly and dropped after a seven-yard game. Nick Bosa makes the stop. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards, and the defense, well, they rallied, they pursued, and put that screen to a minimal game. Death throw again. Caught quickly on the slant. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. All plays on the table here for third and three. Dak off the play fake. Linebacker 
Bears coming to play in coverage, partner. And sure enough, one of them jumps it and takes it to the house. If you say that, you know what I think about? I think about the depth finder on my fishing boat. <laughs> You're absolutely right. This is where these linebackers love to lurk and could do some serious damage. On is Moody for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the 49ers continue piling on to this lead. Well, Brock, hopefully some short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. Turpin with a return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Cowboys and quarterback Dak Prescott ready to get back to work. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Back to the air. Prescott after that pick. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bad. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. Throwing again is dead. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. First down play, that's in five. It's going to be second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you could be a pro bowl. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. From the 41. Got Lamb, and it's complete. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. <laughs> I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route, they get one step inside of you, and well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Here's the game on third and short. Jukes at a one stop. And finally, they bring him down. He shook off a couple of defenders there on a nice pickup. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. A split second, all to kept the defense from making a stand right there. It's amazing, man. This game of inches and split-second reactions. A nice bit of burst surge forward for enough to go get that first by a couple before they could finally drag him down. Throwing on first is Prescott. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They'll run it from the gun. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Okay, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. 
And with a negative play, well, now it becomes a critical third down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Deck now from the gun. That sails over his target, incomplete. And now it's fourth down. You know, Kate, my years in Indianapolis with Peyton, he loved to know the tendencies of a defense. And third and short, more often than not, all across the league, you get man-to-man -man coverage. It really is a good time to throw. Unfortunately, couldn't execute that pass in the fourth down instead. And he missed it. It's no good. And they continue to trail by, well, Brock, a whole lot more than a field goal. Hey, listen, I know kickers are arguably better today than they've ever been in the history of football. But anything from 60-plus is still awfully ambitious. And that time, it didn't pan out. The 49ers are ready to go on offense, and we'll get a look at Debo Samuel. And unsurprisingly, Brock, a great day on the scoreboard so far for him. Has him with the advantage as we move through this third quarter. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. And the gun is Purdy. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. You know, Kate, we see this all the time at every level of football. You've got to catch it first. It's just like when a receiver receives a handoff. You've got to secure the ball, then let your athleticism take off. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Now Purdy, into the hands of Samuel, complete. And they make the tackle at the 38. It's a pickup of 11, and it brings up a San Francisco first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. New set of downs for him at the 38. Bell going to motion over right. Pretty throwing here on first. That's taken in by Samuel. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Kalen Carson with the tackle. Offense to the line for second down. To throw again, it's Purdy. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Looking for the back that time. And it'll be third and five coming up. Pretty easy to see here. He just simply takes off before he gets full possession, and that is a drop. It's kind of like when a receiver gets a handoff. You gotta secure the ball first before you can make anything else happen. Shotgun snap for Purdy. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. Fourth down now, and on comes Jake Moody for the 49ers field goal. Ball spotted on the left hash, 49 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And a fairly insurmountable lead grows by three more. But when we start discussing who their most dependable scorer is in this game, I don't think it's one of these skill guys, not even the quarterback who comes to my mind first. I'm going to bring up this kicker. He's now a perfect 4-4 four for four on field goals and contributing big time to this lead. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. Starting from the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Cowboys offense headed out there. And this has become must-score territory now every time out as they trail by a full four possessions in this second half. And 
the drive will start out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. That was Devondre Campbell making the tackle. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. <laughs> he ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. They'll empty the backfield and motion him out. Setting up the running back screen. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. the end of the third on Sunday night. It's Cowboys football as we're really just counting down this final quarter. This game seems out of hand. Niners countering with a fifth defensive back on this third down. on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. Keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense alignment, those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket. Now they've got to think about you as a runner as well. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. And it falls incomplete. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. Even the best receivers, they've got occasional breaks in concentration. You just never want to see it happen. One of the most important snaps of the game. If we know anything about this guy, though, it's he'll be up for the challenge the next time the ball comes his way. First down, ball at the 36. Blown back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first with some room to spare. To the line we go. They're set, first and 10. They kick the running back in motion. Purdy on first down. That throw finds Kittle. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, it's an extra bonus. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Purdy looking to throw. Hits him on the out route. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. It's a double-digit game, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They're going to drive the wide out. Wow, how about the timing on that call? They catch him off guard, and it's an easy score on that wide receiver run. That's exactly right. They crossed up the defense there, busted some tendencies. What a great call, and what great vision is a ball carry. You don't always see that from wide receivers. That is a job well done. Moody knocks that extra point through. And the 49ers grow their lead yet again. Out 
out to kick it away. Here's Moody. His return start to the five. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. This offense making its way back out now. And the last time we saw him, Brock, they took a risk, went for it on their own half of the field, but it didn't work out. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. First down, here's Dak. Cut out left. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 34. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Yeah, th this game, you just can't make it harder than it needs to be. Just get the catch first. Guarantee your yards, and then worry about escaping defenders after the catch. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Prescott here from the gun. Escapes the pocket. Now he takes it. 12 yards on that play, and a good call nets him the first. When a play breaks down, every once in a while, you've got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on that ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that one. Ball on the 45, first and 10. From the gun is Prescott. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done, incomplete. You know, ball skills are not just a selling point for receivers entering the draft. Teams want defenders, especially in this day and age of passing game, who can make plays on the ball, too, especially on these deeper throws. He doesn't swap that one away. We could be looking at a huge game. Again on second and ten, Prescott. Short pass brought in. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. Prescott now on third down. Makes the grab in bounds left side. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. It's a 31-yard play. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar gun. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of throw when you throw it that deep outside the numbers that requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. And he has enough room to gain about four. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign that we're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Second and six coming up here. From the 17. He's on the move. He tucks it and takes off. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I can promise you, that was the goal from the moment he took off. He kept his eyes locked on the chains. It's almost like he had a spidey sense. He knew exactly where to get in order to move the sticks and get that critical first down. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Dak to the air here. And he takes it into the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. The Cowboys putting up points in a game decided. C.D. Lamb with the touchdown. He hung in there as long as he could. A lot of quarterbacks would have bailed out. And it was, it was what you talk about, Brock, that courage that kept the chant for the touchdown alive. Yeah, that touchdown's going to show up on his stat sheet making the catch or the quarterback stat sheet for making the throw. But, hey, can we put some touchdowns up there for the big boys up front? It was their blocking and buying the time for that play that led to the score. Aubrey Good on the point after. 
And the Cowboys cut into the lead by another point. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Starting from the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The 49ers headed back out on offense as we get another look at Brock Purdy. They're out and set, first and ten. Lone back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. Complete beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 24 on that play. And that's a 49er first down. You want to become quarterback's best friend, do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass, into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet, have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Second and 13. Able to hit Mason complete. And that will not be enough for a first down. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how, I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball, and over time, he's gonna make you pay. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Running back sent in motion. On third down, Purdy. That won't be caught outright, it's incomplete. Trying to find his tight end. So that brings up fourth down. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Fourth down now, and on comes Jake Moody for the 49ers field goal. It'll be a 54-yarder from the right hash. And this one had a brief chance, but not a good kick in the end. He misses it. And they're unable to pile another three onto that lead. Something I would have never said 20 years ago, Kate, when I started this business, but it rattles through my big old noggin now. That miss really has an effect on fantasy football owners more than anybody else. Imagine the poor soul somewhere, anywhere, who ends up losing the fantasy this week specifically because of that miss. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Prescott. 
Ferguson's got it complete. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. And that's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. First and ten, Prescott. Looking right, and he finds him. And this one doesn't go far. Well, that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on a throw, that's a go-to route to target. Second down now, seven to go. From the 42. Gets him on the quick hitter. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. We've reached the two-minute warning in Santa Clara. Cowboys trying to do some window dressing. Third and just two to go. Deck throwing again. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. He was there and just couldn't corral it. So it's going to be fourth and short. You know, that's one of those cases, and we see it at every level. He simply took off before he got full possession, and that's simply a drop. Third down pass didn't work, but the offense staying out there on four. Trying to push this past the marker. And they'll stop him after a minimal game, down to about the 36. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on down. Hey, I get it. it's already over, but go down swinging. Unfortunately, that play, like so many of them today, Kate, has been pretty indicative of how this contest has gone. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. And they should just be able to kneel out what time remains. There's three timeouts defensively still available, but using them is not going to alter this outcome. The 49ers find themselves in a great spot to start this drive. First and ten, coming up. Here's the handoff. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Give it to him again. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Gets him those three yards back, but it brings up third and ten now. quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero penalty not helping their cause for this third down running it after the penalty and once again he doesn't manage much before getting brought down it's three yards on the pickup and that's going to leave him facing fourth down The 49ers are lined up in punt formation. It'll be Mitch Wisnowski doing the honors. This is away, and once again, he's caught all of it. And the coverage team is there as he fields it, so almost nothing on that return before he stopped. So the 49ers take the win here in front of the faithful in Santa Clara. And we didn't need to reach the closing stages of the game for this one to be over. 